The Broncos have traveled 2,000 miles here to the Ohio Valley for the first time in school history, and tonight they put their 3-0 record and number eight national ranking on the line against the 1-2 Bowling Green Falcons. Hello, thousand people can make this Kyle Brotsman getting ready to kick it off for week four of the season. That grew at the seventh. Finds a little seam, gets across the... Out of the shotgun. And out of the backfield is Jeter. Look at him in the broken field, and he's got the first down. Placed at the 20. And he hooked it. Just a pull hook. That Shoemaker in motion. Play action. Shoemaker. To the 27 yard line, they say he stepped out at the 27. Across the middle, that's Titus Young and he's got the first down. First down and 10 for the Broncos, Jeremy Avery in the backfield. And that's Titus Young around the right side. Touchdown. Touchdown. Watch the celebration penalty there, gentlemen. Austin Pettis will take the snap here. Austin Pettis can throw. And does. <laughs> and and completes to Richie Brockle. Is DJ Harper. Play action. And that's Gallarda. Tommy Gallarda knocked out at the 49-yard line. 250-pound junior picks up a chunk. Kellen Moore on first down, wants to throw, and does. That's Brockle. And Brockle goes head to head, nose to nose in 2009. And the ball is placed at the 35. There's Harper. Doug Martin, down the sideline. Well, he did his best impression of Harper. Bowling Green at the 40-yard line with good field position. Tip drill. Intercepted. Brandon Thompson. That looked like a horse collar. And a flag does come in. That went off someone's helmet. I could hear it up here, Tom. They're setting up shop on the 25. After the Martin touchdown, Jeremy Avery in there on the reverse. To Titus Young. One man to beat. Titus is two for two. And 55 and counting. This time, play action. Sheehan with nice time. Throws it, and that's picked off. Had all kinds of time, but Jerron Johnson was able to make a nice move to the ball, and he comes up once again with the pick. Third and six, Kellen Moore. Schumacher. To the 35-yard line goes the local Boise product, Tyler Shoemaker. Avery stays in there on this second down and nine. Over the middle, Shoemaker. In it, inside the 20, down to the 17-yard line. Runs. In from the other hash, he struggled. High snap, and it's a fake. Not sure it's an intentional fake. May have been the fact that Austin Pettis just didn't feel like he could get the ball down in time after the high snap. Yeah, we'll have to see that again. Five wide receivers in the game for Boise State. Kellen Moore has a lot of people he can throw to. And he chooses Shoemaker once again. <laughs> and another huge gain for Tyler Shoemaker. Warming up before it hits the highway. Doug Martin. Martin bounces it around the left side and knocked out of bounds. Down to the 17-yard line before Keith Morgan knocked Doug Martin. Replacing D.J. Harper out for the year in the lineup. Play action to Harper. Uh, Martin. Touchdown. Touchdown. Austin Pettis. Austin Pettis has caught a touchdown in every Boise State game this season. Moore. That's Titus Young, and that'll stop the clock. Tape as that kid has. There's a reason for that call. Once again, the blitz. This time, the middle screen. Titus Young, it's set up. Across the 25-yard line to the 24-yard line. 38-yard attempt for Kyle Brotsman. 
on the left hash. And it's no good. Hooked it to the left. See the frustration there from the junior from Meridian High School. Still looking to see their first completion as brothers. Avery finds a hole and there goes Jeremy Avery. His first big run of the night across the 30. One man to beat and Jeremy Avery's going to walk in for the touchdown. Well, that's 71 yards. That's uh, pick, picking up right where he left off last week at Fresno State. Line now. Fumble. Sheehan lost the ball. Broncos say they've got it. And the officials agree. It's going from bad to worse for that guy, Dave Clawson. Yeah. Seven yard line after the fumble. That's Martin. Martin to the two. Doug Martin stays in. They play action to him and all alone. That is Brockle, the senior fullback. Richie Brockle. But we've got penalty markers yeah, it's all over the place. The Third and six now. Sheehan this time rolling to his right. Throwing up the middle. And that's complete. Great catch. Pitch and kicks now. All alone, down the sideline is Bullock. He somehow was hit. Looking at Freddie Barnes. All alone. Hodges with the touchdown. The goose egg is no more. And Bowling Green after putting points on the board for the first time tonight, going back to work. Across the middle is complete for a gain of 14. Fourth down and a long three for Bowling Green. Fourth down. Complete. Sheehan in trouble. Gets away. Going to go for it. Touchdown, Tyler Sheehan. Coughlin on the keeper. Coughlin down the right side, down to the 35-yard line goes Mike Coughlin. And this clock, 8.35 to play. And Doug Martin tries the left side. Doug Martin down to the 10, inside the 10-yard line. Doug Martin adding on to his 100-yard clock. Hodge, touchdown. And, and they're going wild on the Boise State sideline. Happy for Jarvis Hodge. First man there, Richie Brockle. Folks coming in from Sacramento, fourth and ten, with 104 to play. Complete and juggled. Did he have it or yeah, not? He juggled, juggled out of bounds. So Boise State will take over and uh, go into the victory formation. What would you say? Close. Would uh, you say uh, close to a thousand? Yeah, 800 maybe. Mm-hmm. And many of them, like we said, from the Midwest, transplanted from Bronco Nation in, in the Gem State. They made the trip here. That's the final. The Broncos, 49. Bowling Green, 14. And there you see the Bronco fans. <laughs> All right, we're going to take a break, and we'll be back to wrap things up. 49-14, the final.